I'd like to welcome everyone. Okay. My name is Karen McLatcher. For those who of you who might not know me, there's a lot of familiar faces on here, so I think most of you do. I am um, honored to be the Chief Program and Pro Program and Product Officer for Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan, and to work with both the product team and the program team. Um, it's just a joy every day to work with um, wonderful volunteers and um, very committed staff members. So I want to welcome you on behalf of. Um, Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan and the product team uh, to this session. And first of all, as I always do, for those of you who are service unit product managers, troop product managers, and we know who you are, I want to start out with a thank you. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all you did, especially this past year, um, the past year and a half, where circumstances have been changing rapidly and, and unknown and we still manage to make sure um, between our wonderful volunteers and, and our staff to make sure that girls enjoyed the product program. So thank you from the bottom of our heart on behalf of all of those girls. Um, I also wanna introduce tonight our uh, small but mighty product staff. I think it's the next slide. Yep, so Abby Hoey, and Ashley Coca are both program and product supervisors. So they supervised um, different regions for both product and for classic program. Um, Ashley for Saginaw, she's also the regional manager and Abby has Jackson and Kalamazoo regions. Um, we also have Jacqueline Reimers who uh, is a product and program specialist out of our Saginaw region. Tyler Edgar, a program and product specialist out of the Lansing region, and Susan Pritchard, who is a product assistant. And uh, for the last couple of years, she's a product assistant for Kalamazoo and often Jackson. But this year, because we had um, a lot of gaps to fill with uh, some, some missing staff members, we uh, Susan slung in and helped with uh, Ann Arbor region as well. So she uh, really did the whole, as I call it, 94 corridor. So we thank her for all of that. If you were on CalCC, uh, standing for Kalamazoo Cookie Cupboard, uh, she was the one, the, the wizard behind the curtain answering all the questions. All right. A and I do, I don't, I'd be remiss, Stacy Jenkins is on the phone and at the end, I'm gonna say a, probably more than a few words about Stacy. Um, she has been a longtime product team member and is a program and product supervisor um, for the Lansing and Ann Arbor regions. And at the end, um, she'll be leaving us. And at the end, I have a few words to uh, to say about Stace, but we'll continue. So I'm gonna turn it over to Abby. It's gotta be at the end, there. otherwise we'll, we'll cry for the presentation. Thank you. <laughs> yep, so Abby, Ashley, I'm turning it over to you and I'm muting. Welcome everyone. All right, hi guys, this is Abby. I can start us off. Um, so we were just curious if you if you're familiar with um, interacting um, with your tablets or your computers, you can certainly annotate um, and interact um, with Zoom if you've done it before. If not, take your time to figure it out. It's under the more button, and you can maybe click on the screen and and let us know um, if you're new to the product programs, if you've been around with us for a while, or if you have been doing this for you know. Eons. Does everybody know how to answer? And to recap, if you go to the three dots, if you are on an um, Android device, go to the three dots, uh, or I'm sorry, go to the top where it says um, view options, go to annotate, and then um, you can either choose stamp and put stamps like stars or something nearby, or you can draw and circle whatever you'd like. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad, it's it's um, a different, it's not up at the top. It's probably part of your oh. screen. And if you don't have either, um, you can just put something in the chat box. We have Kyla and Jacqueline Manning, they're womaning the chat box tonight and you can let us know in the chat box uh, how many years experience you have. You guys, it's so awesome. I just want you to know to hear Karen give instruction on how to annotate, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> I'll be honest, I owe it all to Stacey Jenkins from way back when we started doing the Gold Award prep sessions. Well, you know, this is a safe environment. So even if you hang up, we'll let you back in. So, you know, I'm just saying, I see that we have 
a well-seasoned audience. It looks like a few champions and a few veterans. Doesn't look like anyone new yet. So, wow, this is going to be, I feel this might be a really good conversation we're about to have since uh, considering our audience. Oh, there's some newbies. And I should have said in the beginning, our session tonight really is geared toward helping troop leaders um, engage parents with the product program. So sorry, I, I, I know that was on the screen, but I should have said it. Back to you, Abby. Oh, well, we can just go on to the next slide. All right. So the agenda, we have some wonderful, wonderful things in this presentation. Um, we're gonna introduce product program and of course we're gonna recap the five skills. We're gonna we're gonna connect and we're gonna talk about those important dates and um, online stores. Online stores and both product programs has been um, both necessary and a wonderful tool for our girls. Um, to use uh, during the past year, year and a half. It was, it was already, the trajectory of it was already growing um, as people became more familiar with the online platform, but it really, really increased obviously last year. And we, we wanna see that continue momentum. So we wanna make you familiar with that online platform because girls can, can go on th themselves and do it. And I'll tell you, it takes a huge onus off the true product manager. So we really, really, really encourage you to familiarize yourself with those online stores. Um, we're going to engage. We're going to talk about um, what we can do to keep the, the parents and the girls to stay engaged. We all know girl parents and guardians are a secret to their success. Um, and we're going to collaborate. That's why I think this is going to be a great conversation. Um, there's going to be opportunity to give your input, give your best practices so people can learn from one another. Um, we, and you know, I'm just going to throw in last year, we did all virtual online trainings um, for the first time. And it was so cool because we were able to bring four of our five regions together and best practices would vary. So there was a lot of collaboration the past year. And I, I suspect it will continue this year. Um, just what people did in Ann Arbor, what people did in Lansing, what people did in Kalamazoo and Jackson. It was, it was cool to see. And then we're gonna sustain, we're gonna ways to maintain a great program um, and, and how and what that looks like and um, why it matters. Go ahead. All right, so here are the important dates. I'm gonna take a moment to check out this, this slide. So um, Trace and Reed, and what we call JICLA or JICLI, Jackson County, Lansing, Ann Arbor slash Ypsilanti. Um, the online store will open to girls on September 10th and then in-person training starts September 24th. And did I say in-person training or selling? In-person selling uh, will start in 24th. Oh, I ordered some. Um, I ordered some. Can one of the hosts mute? I think somebody might not know that they're not on mute. I'll catch the mute, no problem. Thank you. So um, always with that online store, there's a bit of an advantage um, because girls will gain access once they're uploaded um, to get in. Another advantage is to make sure your girls are registered in a timely fashion because they'll be automatically uploaded and receive that email. Um, in Saginaw, uh, the online store opens in 12.1. Um, and then, of course, we've got cookies starting. We have five regions here at Heart of Michigan, and Saginaw is on a reverse sale, so their cookies start October 22nd. Um, and that is that the online store, Ashley? I just want to make sure I'm correct. Yeah, no, digital uh, cookies. No, the online store opens 12, 12, 15, 12 right? I'm sorry. So. Yeah, yeah. So cookie, the cookie season program begins uh, October 22nd. And I just there want to throw in that the slides you're seeing are the themes this year. So rise up with penguins and climb with courage and the koala are the themes and the animals for uh, fruits and reeds and cookies respectively. Yeah. Yeah, okay. not just the penguin, but the emperor penguin. So yes, very cool. Yeah. And um, also there'll be, go ahead. I was going to say a full list of the dates are going to be in your at a glance, which everyone should have received uh, in their kickoff bags. If you have not received that, we'll make sure that you have that material to you. And it will be online right. to be downloaded from the product area too. And everyone will get them at um, trainings. Hey, Ash, the full list of dates actually isn't on the at a glance. It's in the true, true product manager guides that they receive at training. 
which My starts apologies. up for troop level, it starts September 1st. I'm just so excited. I know, I know. So um, I'm sure for those of you who've been around, you'll receive a manual. You can access it online and we have paper copies that you'll receive as well. Um, and we have full list of dates and those. So, but these are the key dates, of course. All right, let's keep moving on. The reason why girls become successful as adults. So, you know, we really believe that product program is a program. That's why it's called a program here. Um, and we, we really encourage you to reach out to your parents. You have lots of resources to talk to your parents and engage the girls um, through many different ways. Um, we have the family guide um, that you'll see coming out that talks about both product programs. Um, in addition, we encourage you to hold those troop meetings with the girls and go through all of the five skills so they can understand why it matters. Oftentimes at the troop level, when we talk about product program or important things in Girl Scouting, there's typically an invite with the parents um, so they can discuss and have the transparency with, with the girls and their goals. Goal setting. All right, like our new caramel apples, I love that, that plug. Girls need to know how to set and reach goals to succeed in school, on, on the job, and in life. And caramel apples, we have new chocolate caramel apples. So. Um, Ashton Farms is our little Willy Wonka across the river in Wisconsin, and they produce all of our nuts and candies, which is part of the Treats and Reads sale. The Reads part is our magazines, um, which you can get tons of magazines online. Um, and these are caramel apples. They're new this year. We're really excited about them. Next slide. Your first goal. So last year, back by popular man, if you remember, we had a raffle for girls that sent out emails. Um, this year, it's back. Last year, they won a giant sloth. This year, they earned the Emperor Penguin sleeping bag, or not earn, I'm sorry, they get a chance to win a Emperor Penguin sleeping bag. So, um, if, you know, talk to your Girl Scouts. Um, there's two opportunities to, to win um, the sleeping bag this year. Um, if girls send out 18 emails in the Jackson, Lansing, Kamazoo, Ann Arbor regions by September 15th, they're entered to win the drawing. Um, they'll be in second chance drawing on October 15th for girls that might register a little bit late to your troop. In Saginaw, those dates are going to be December 15th and January 15th, and those will be available to you in your troop product manager guide. So it's really important when you get when you get access on September 10th, um, to encourage the girls and parents to, to send those emails out. All right, so we have our two plushes, super, super cute. Right here, the Treats and Reads Emperor Penguin um, and the koala. Um, the koala is the initial order for cookies. I know, isn't it, Skylar Shields? It, it is adorable. And I don't have in front of me, what level is the penguin, the penguin at? Ash, do you have that in front of you? Or no? I do not have that in front of me. I have everything else, but it is either. <laughs> I have everything else, Abby. Who has their at a glance? Pop quiz nope. time. Yeah, who's got their at it? Oh, yes, Penguin says 175 plus in initial orders. There you go. Well, it says it right there on the slide. Sorry, my slide was cut off a little bit. Yeah, I think I think that just was a move over. So 175 perhaps sales, but 175 initial orders is that, that koala. Okay. So, so fun fact with the... Uh, can you hear me? I just cut up. I think we are just waiting for a little auditory for Abby to join us back. But um, are, with, can you hear me? Okay. Can. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, Ash. I didn't mean. That. No, I was just gonna say. I was saying. Fun fact, just so you're aware, the Treats and Reads program, um, we measure we measure girl progress 
by dollar amount, and a cookies, it's in boxes. Packages. Packages. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Yes. All right. Next slide. Sorry, Ashley. Mm -hmm. So this year, uh, we want to continue on with our hometown hero program. We heard that our girls this year with COVID, um, with with how the world looks, and we noticed that it was growing and growing and continuing to grow. So we've looked to ways to increase our gift of caring program and opportunities for the girls. So we know that the girls make these lifelong decisions when they participate in either product program. And uh, we, Abby will share something with uh, regarding the Hometown Hero program for our treats and reads, but for the Girl Scout cookie program, any girl who participates this year, she will not only receive the gift of caring patch, but when she has 75 or more in donations through our council gift of caring program of the Girl Scout cookie program, she will also receive the Samoa Adventure uh, Please hoodie that she'll be able to earn. And one thing is for certain is that no matter what, um, where the girls make those decisions and where they lead to, they will definitely have adventures for less, the lifetime. So anything that you'd like to add? about uh, the next slide, Abby, that would be great as we talk into our Treats and Reads program. Yeah, so 25, so the girl rewards with 25 donations of $5 each, um, gives you a special invitation of a behind the scenes event that we're gonna host this year. So never before have we um, realized how important Hometown Heroes is. We realized it um, towards the end of the sale and uh 2020 and again this year we're so excited for our girls and our communities to be able to donate donate cookies out to um caregivers hospitals um you know places places where we've just got frontline heroes of all sorts so we don't have it nailed down completely but rest assured we're going to do something that has um some really really strong intrinsic value to it regarding the hometown hero, the hero of that um, that will be, it'll be a, a special memorable event behind the scenes for your, for your Girl Scouts. Um, so we encourage you to uh, continue to sell those, um, those hometown heroes. It's a wonderful way for friends and family to support the girl. You can buy $5 donation increments online. You can, you can buy them online, which is um, avoid shipping cost or anything, anything else or you can sell them straight off the in-person order card. Um, so I would definitely use this um, in goal setting with your girls and get them excited. Many, many times when you speak to parents and girls about this and about the Hometown Heroes program, there's something near and dear to their heart. So I would definitely make this part of your goal setting process within the troop. And if I could just jump in, the idea for this uh, for the special event really came from a couple of things that had happened. Fort Custer, where we donate to our military program, one of the places for our military heroes, offered girls a couple of years ago a behind the scenes to see what they do um, and how the you know how they get the cookies onto the cargo planes, et cetera, et cetera. And we've had a couple other organizations, food banks, that have done the same thing. Um, so we will be organizing with those partners. Um, some behind the scenes things so girls can see what they do and um, how important it is uh, for the Hometown Hero program. So what we'd like Thank you to you, do Karen. is so go ahead and place in the chat box at the count of three, who were your troop's hometown heroes? How many donations did your troop collect in nuts and candies? How about cookies? So we'll give a few moments, but don't press uh, send yet as Karen calls it a chat bomb. Uh, we'll go ahead and see, we'd love to see those. So one, are y'all ready? One, two, three. Woohoo, Belle. Wow, Sarah, that's awesome. That's very cool. Local hospitals, fire stations. Can we have Jacqueline and Kyla read off some of those? Um, what's coming through? Um, Casey says that their her girls donated to their teachers, and um, another one said we donated to teachers as well. Awesome. Okay. 
Rachel says that they donated to families who are victims of domestic violence. Amber Orlick says 100 plus boxes to teachers in the local fire department there in Bay City. And Jamie said that they had online hometown donations, but not sure how much. Excellent. Well, I can assure you that uh, council wide throughout our 34 counties in GSHOM, we um, donate cookies through the council gift to caring program to dozens and dozens of places. Um, this past couple of years with the pandemic, we added um, some new places like uh, nursing homes and again, all the front the frontline um, workers from hospitals. Uh, we just have lots and lots of places. So we're so excited, not only for the, the partners we have at the Council of Gifted Caring, but we know there are dozens and dozens more that troops, um, troops utilize places for their troop uh, gifted caring cookies and treats and reads. Very cool. Thank you for sharing, everybody. We can go on to the next slide. All right, money management. Who wants to talk about this? <laughs> so, so even from early on as a daisy, we we practice counting back change, right? But as girls grow and they get older, um, I have to tell you, it becomes so obvious the troops that get it and budget and and really work with their girls on setting goals with what they're gonna do with their money, whether they use it for a trip or to go to Girl Scout camp together, to go to a source program, um, to, to do a community service project. So there's at every age, there's a way to teach girls about money management. So new this year, uh, girls were, will earn an additional $5 in cookie cash for sending 25 emails through their online store. So again, we're gonna plug that cookie training, which starts virtual training for all four regions. Um, we'll start, um, oh, well, oh, well, I apologize, that's for cookies. When will, when will it start for Saginaw, Ash? We're talking about cookie cash right now. When does, do you know approximately when online training will start for cookies? Yeah, so we are so excited to share with that all five regions will begin their Girl Scout cookie, digital cookie program December 15th. So from December 15th, through January 17th, Girl Scouts throughout all five regions will be able to send 25 emails to earn that additional uh, $5 in cookie cash. And to answer your question on the training, um, cookie training for Saginaw will start in September and for JKLA, it will start in November. Thank you so much, Karen. That's what I was looking for because I know people will be excited. So thank you. Yeah. All right, girls online stores and digital cookie remain open through rewards earnings. So we always keep the online stores open and in both programs um, and platforms, we have kept open um, when possible, the girl online delivered, which we're really excited about. Um, a few years ago, we extended the girl reward program through Treats and Reads, which were, we were um, wildly successful. So it gave them a few more months to, to earn towards rewards. Um, so uh, it, it makes it very, very easy on the true product managers to manage money because you have a database that just tells you everything you need to know. It's less money collection um, and instant payment. It's very nice. So one thing- People, that's yeah. <laughs> one thing that's Ashley, you better take this one. One thing that is wonderful through the Girl Scout product programs is that girls are going to be able to connect to a different variety of all varieties of people. Some are sweet and some are salty. So this year we are introducing a new trail mix, uh, maybe called Sweet and Salty Trail Mix for all of our lovers. But we know that working through the product program, girls are earning those five skills, one of them being uh, people skills that they're gonna go ahead and learn not only at their Girl Scout meetings, at their cookie booths, at their nut huts, but they're gonna take those applications in life that will help them lead to success. So girls are growing up in digital with more access to the internet and online activities than ever before. Give them a space 
that is safe to practice digital skills that they need in today's world, like sending emails, posting messages, and texting through their online store for all ages. I love the share, um, the share of a screen because Stacy shared it and she did a little bit of research for us and she was so happy to share with us that, you know, with kids having so much screen time that, you know what, our girls are really becoming leaders of tomorrow where maybe the boys are online, but they're playing a lot of video games. Girls are really learning more into coding those digital marketing skills and taking that. So through the Girl Scout online uh, portals, through digital cookie or online sales through M2, there'll be a safe place, space to go through and uh, lead into success. Business ethics. All right. So um, employees want to hire ethical workers, and the world needs ethical leaders in every field at every age. And Girl Scouts will relate this to the Girl Scout law. The Emperor penguins are honest and fair. When they mate, both mother and father will sure take care of their chicks. I love that. So again, there's that lovely plush for 175 and um, in dollars in the trees and reed sales. Um, you know, business ethics. I just want to briefly, if you do have the added glance in front of you because you're able to pick it up or you've got a bag. Um, we, we, this is near and dear to our hearts. And I just want to say that if you are participating in product program um, as a troop leader and a Girl Scout, you're also helping support other Girl Scouts. Um, you know, Girl Scouts is self-sustaining and these pro programs really support many, many things, including your troops, including your girls' dreams. They're, they're enabling other Girl Scouts um, to have that same opportunity and uh, make sure there's a, there's a place for every girl um, in our council for years years to come. Our predecessors uh, gave us what we have today with all these cookie sales and, and we're still doing it. So that's always a part of ethics I like to discuss too. And before we move and on, I just want to say we think it's really important that Whenever we're talking about the product program, we, we refer to the five skills. They've been around now for several years, but it's really important to know that girls are having fun, but they're learning lifelong skills and um, tendencies that will help them uh, as they grow into adults. I'm sorry, go ahead, Abby. No, I appreciate it. Of course we have fun. Who doesn't love this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we, I'm telling you, Girl Scout, uh, booze and nut huts we we refer to the treat the treat sale as nut huts we it's, it's a lot of fun there it's a it's, i i'll tell you i was somewhere i can't remember where i was oh i was at a recruitment event and i had a guy walk up to me and he just chatted my ear off about how he grew up in pawpaw his sister was a girl scout but and his mom was a troop leader and he was at every girl scout cookie booth and he said well, our house is filled with cookies i mean he just gave me uh, the, the biggest, most fun story. So he just said it was the coolest thing ever and he felt like an honorary Girl Scout. So, you know, there's a lot of fun memories with product program. You know, they say that Girl Scouts is synonymous with, with cookies, but we're, we have plenty more to offer, but there a lot of fun memories are made with product program and a lot of great things are accomplished um, where girls couldn't do it otherwise. All right, the very first connection you make with families through product program is through digital sales. Get them started and hold your troop meeting to set goals. Love this idea of vision boards. This is a great activity. Um, you know, on littlebrownie.com, you can log in and they have a ton of ideas. If you're ever in a pinch uh, for um, something to do at your troop meeting, um, they have tons of, of wonderful, wonderful ideas that, yes, they're themed around cookies, but they are just excellent, excellent um, lessons for your girls around the five skills, the goal setting, the decision making, which decision making is so important, money management, people skills, business ethics. This is one of um, hundreds of ideas you can find at Little Brown and, Bonnie. And when trying but to I engage, love, I, and when trying to engage, sorry, Abby, the parents, um, those ideas will help the troop leaders to really, really, really get the parents engaged. There are some things girls can do at the troop level. Um, there's a lot of things they can do at home, but parents really, really will get into a lot of these um, things that, that they can help their daughters with, as well as um, setting up all of the things for the online stores or digital cookies. 
I would like to take a moment and just plug our upcoming digital cookie kickoff on December 1st. We will have a virtual kickoff for engaging all girls uh, throughout Hardy, Michigan land to this virtual event. So um, that is one other way that you can invite families to come and engage with, with us on how to make their product program year a success. And then I'd like to throw out a statistic that was surprising to me. When we first started out Digital Cookie a couple of years ago, we had only 2% of girls participating. Just before the pandemic hit, we were at 9% of girls participating in Digital Cookie. Our cookie company, Little Brownie, shared with us this year, I thought it would have been you know, quite high. Um, this past year, 25% of our girls who were registered Girl Scout, who participated in cookies, 25% uh, participate in digital cookies. So there's lots of room for growth, lots of room to really get parents engaged um, to help those girls with the digital part. All right, starting your digital store uh, for the new trees and weeds. We're gonna take a quick video, just a fun little video, just so you can see how easy and seamless it is. Thank you for participating in the Girl Scouts product program. As you move through this activity, follow the prompts to create a personalized site where friends and family can shop online to help you reach your goal. Enter your troop number and search for your name. If you go by a nickname, you may also enter that. You will want to move on to about your campaign, discuss your group goal, determine what your personal goal should be, and complete the questions to let people know why you're trying to earn money as a Girl Scout. Here comes the fun part. You will get to create an avatar that looks just like you. There are so many different options and accessories to choose from. Make sure you make her look as close as possible to you. After you made your avatar look just like you, then you can make your avatar sound just like you by recording a special message for your avatar to deliver to your friends and family. On this page, you will also see what your personalized patch will look like if you earn it, as well as the requirements needed to earn it. You can also upload a photo of yourself and create a unique video using the sample script below and following the important safety tips. The more you personalize your site, the better your results will be. Once you've completed the steps to create your site, you will be prompted to send emails to friends and family members. This is the most important part to promoting your campaign. You can easily use one of the providers to import your contacts or manually type them in. Once you enter all your email addresses, scroll to the bottom and click on launch your campaign. Congratulations, you have officially registered for the online site for product program. On your dashboard, you'll be able to check your sales report and see which rewards you've earned, promote on social media, and so much more. Don't forget to check out your avatars room. Check out all 10 of the virtual rewards that you can earn while completing the steps throughout the program. Check out your troop photo with the avatars of all the girls in your troop. Always remember to follow all current guidelines from Girl Scouts for online sales and marketing. Good luck and have fun. So I just want to stop this. I know, I know there's a few new folks uh, on the call, and I just want you to know that this is just a snapshot of the overall product program, um, and we will go through a comprehensive training so you understand um, every each program and its and its entity. So um, I just want to, if if you're a little bit confused, that's totally fine. But just know each program has their own online their own online sales platform. And we just watched M2's online platform and that is for the, our fall sale in Jackson, Lansing, Kalamazoo and Ann Arbor. Um, and we're about ready to watch the cookie online store that launches December 1st for, for our December 15th rather for all regions. Hello. And welcome to your digital cookie training for parents and troop leaders. If you're a troop leader, we'll put some extra information at the end that will be useful to you, um, and parents can hop off at that part. Um, the first part is certainly relevant for uh, everyone. It's good for leaders to know this information, and it's parents. So let's get started. Before we hop into how digital cookie works, just a quick note. 
that with digital cookies, uh, you're gonna sell more cookies. So the average order for shipped boxes is seven and a half boxes. And right now an average order in traditional sales is about four boxes. So digital cookie is a great tool to help girls really reach their goals faster. There's four easy steps to digital cookie and we'll walk through each of those. There's registering, setting up your site, inviting customers to purchase and tracking your goals. So you will be receiving a volunteer registration email if you're a volunteer and a parent registration email if you're a parent and your, your service unit and community guides can let you know when, that, when you'll be receiving that email and you can expect that. When you get that, it will come from Girl Scout Cookies and say register for the digital cookie platform today. You'll get the email, you're gonna click on the green button, register now. You'll be asked to create a password, then use that password to log in with the email address that you received your email and that new password. You'll watch a quick three minute safety video. It's designed to be watched in conjunction with your Girl Scouts. There will be terms and conditions and a safety pledge that you'll review. And there is one for parents, one for volunteers. And if you are a parent, there's one for you to review the girl, the girl pledge. If you have multiple roles, if you are a leader and a parent, you'll be asked what role you'd like to view when you log in. And if you're a parent, you will be looking at um, the girls that are either the parents and guardian of, caregiver of. You'll click register. You'll have the opportunity to add in her first name if it's different than what appears. For example, maybe in the membership system, she's Eleanor, but she goes by Nora. You could put her common first name of Nora here. Also, if the girl is 13 or over at this point, you can enter an email address for her. Then she'll receive her own registration email and she'll be able to do a lot of these activities on her own as a girl 13 years or older. So that uh, this video is actually that voice is our wonderful and amazing Heather Law at GSUSA that we work with um, every year to bring the digital cookie program to you all. It's a 29 minute video, but we only gave you a sneak peek of the first two minutes and we'll make sure that we uh, share that additional how to steps, but also quick steps are found in our family guide as well as uh, through your online training and in person for your zoom trainings that we'll have uh, coming up this fall for our troop. At any time, if girls did not receive their launch email, whether it be for the Trees and Reads program or if um, through the dig for digital cookie program, go ahead and email the help desk at helpdesk at gshom.org. They are our amazing superheroes of Hardy, Michigan, and uh, they'll be able to make sure and help pinpoint everything together to get our girls started. And just take Hello. a minute and we'll click through. Hello. <laughs> Hello. As we connect with parents. So we talk a lot about connecting with parents as a troop leader. It's super important to be just transparent um, on what your girls and your troop, your troop's expectations are. Remember, we're girl led, and perhaps everybody doesn't agree, but the for instance I give is you know, let's say you set a lofty hometown heroes goal so you all could attend that event. My recommendation would be, you know, there's there's more than one way to to skin a cat. It's a horrible expression, but you get my gist. There's, you know, if if you have girls that want to donate to uh, their local hospital, but some want to go to our nursing home and donate, um, you're welcome to split those cookies, you know, as you see fit. Um, our best advice is to tell you whatever decision you make. Um, should you should try and make it girl led and fair, and you should always provide a reason to parents of why you made that that decision and be forthright and upfront with them. Um, it just helps. Um, it, it helps uh, alleviate any any um, possible misunderstandings. Um, the example here is a troop needs a cover connection to pick up cookies every Friday between three and six. Can you, your car fit twenty case, cases? This is, and, um, and not to, kind of, I was going to say not to overstate that. I think many times troop leaders worry about asking parents to do things. We really, really have found that parents want to be involved. And so again, be clear and concise, ask for the help that you need. And um, usually there will be parents that, that will step up and help. Sorry, go ahead, Abby. 
No, that was a perfect segue, Karen. I think it's so important with cookies. Um, you know, c- cookies, both product programs, rather, we say cookies just as uh, a term for both product programs. But I will tell you, um, it, it's a fun, fun, fun program to participate in. But it's, it's a lot of work. So delegate. Parents love to be involved in these product programs. Um, it's just lively and fun. And it's there's a lot of physical components to it. So don't be afraid to delegate and just at meetings say, hey, if we're going to do this, if we're going to sell, if each girl is going to sell a thousand boxes or whatever your goal is, then uh, say, all right, parents, this is what we need. You know, we're going to have so many booths. We need some help. You know, I'm, I don't have virtual skills. Can somebody help us with a Facebook live event? Um, just ask the questions. Uh, being a troop leader, nobody said it was easy, right? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's super rewarding, but just please make sure to reach out to your parents um, and don't be afraid just to simply delegate based on expectations. What are some, so with this said, um, we'd love to hear in the chat box, what are some ways you connect and communicate with your girls and family? So, you know, you see some volunteers out there, uh, you know, let us know what has helped you um, communicate with your parents and your troops expectations and what your needs are to make sure the girls uh, have a robust and rewarding product product season. And if you'll put a, a, your, some examples in the chat box, Jacqueline and Kyla will, um, in a couple of minutes, read those off. A couple of suggestions we have on screen you can read. Sign Up Genius, that's a great tool. And, uh, you know, SurveyMonkey, absolutely. Um, you know, we've talked about having those. Um, regardless if you invite parents to troop meetings, certainly have them um, invited to a to a, a meeting that that focuses on troop goals and product programs, so you can delegate and have maybe, maybe a sign up sheet. That's a best best practice. That family guide, make sure they get it. Jacqueline, what and, do we have in the chat box? Uh, Sarah just said we have a closed Facebook group for troop communication. It has been great. And Yay. Nice. Our, Valerie said our troop does a parent meeting for both product sales. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Woohoo. All right. Uh, just to reiterate these dates. Um uh, you should receive um a email. Um, for Jackson County Lansing and Arbor IPSI um, sometime around September 3rd to gain access to um, the Treats and Reads sales through, uh, through M2 Media. Um, if you don't receive it by the 10th, um, please reach out to that help desk email or give us a call. Um, it could be a typo in your email. It could be an upload issue. Um, you know, so please, please, please reach out. Um, something else that happened, particularly we found with COVID as people perhaps change jobs or whatnot, is, is that um, we've had emails change. We've had a lot of work. So I would try and make sure that your email is right um, in the uh, in the in your troop roster. Make sure everything's set because we just take that and we upload it into M2 Media. Uh, December 15th uh, is the Saginaw Digital Cookie Lunch. Um, and that's the date that um, troop leaders are expected to have, to have access. And Ashley says in the comment box, if your troop does not receive the launch email, let us know, help desk at gshgm.org and update your email through the MyGS account. That's the word I was looking for, MyGS. Thanks, Ash. You're cool. I try. All right, so engage with parents. We've talked about the family guide a couple times. You know, uh, we have these available. They're both available online and they're available um, at your regional centers and through your service units with your product manager. Membership often will help us connect as well uh, with printed materials, physical materials. So um, you'll learn more about that at the trainings. Again, for Treats and Reads, training starts, um, the first one starts September 1st. You'll, you'll See that um, you'll see that published here shortly. Um, 
you're going to want to create a social media event or schedule a live stream on Facebook. That's always super fun. Um, we had a lot of success with this this past year, and it was, you know, it's just such a great environment to, for girls to explore those platforms with friends and family. Um, virtual booths is another thing we tried out. And, you know, we'll talk about um, opportunities and training. We um, had to pivot um, very rapidly with booths. Um, and both uh, treats and reads and cookies. We've always been accustomed to being able to have physical booths, but I'm just going to take a moment to say, um, even even without um, a, a hefty COVID present, retailers have really um, pulled back and allowing girls to be anywhere. So depending on where COVID guidelines are, when product program wears up, we're just we're we're gonna go through that and uh, day day to day, uh, similar to what we did last year for whatever opportunities um, w- will work for us. But rest assured, we find a way. Those those Girl Scouts, you all, it's it's just amazing that we find a way uh, to reach to reach uh, consumers. I think we went back a slide. There was just something that asked for us for us the. Uh, the date slide again. So we are back to where you'd like. Oh, great. And then we did talk about this earlier. Um, I kind of lumped it in with business ethics, but 49% of your cookie dollars goes directly to Girl Scout Heart of Michigan programming. Um, 16% stays with the troops. Um, you know, between the girl rewards and that that money that the troop gets to do all those wonderful things with, um, you know, that 49%, I'll tell you that that does so much in our world um, to make sure that Girl Scouts ha- have their have their place in the world. All right. So collaborate. We're all partners. Let parents know the different phases the product program program and help them take part in every step. So in product program, both sales have. There's, there's many different ways to sell. We would certainly, we discussed this in depth in training. Uh, we want you to pick a way that resonates best with your troop. Um, and particularly it's the, the type of time in the world. So for instance, online sales was key to success this past year. Um, and, and previous years, people would heavily participate in physical booths in front of retailers, um, or they would do both. It would be 50-50. A lot of troops uh, really enjoy initial sales, just taking out that little classic trifold order card and selling. So um, collaborate, you know, know your audience, where you, where you are, what your area um, is like, what opportunities you have available, because there's many, many different ways for girls to sell for them to feel comfortable in this product program. Um, I would definitely, definitely have a conversation with, with parents and girls and see how best, um, what best suits their needs. Um, open and honest. We don't know what next year will bring. Let's be ready for anything, um, as we are, because we're Girl Scouts, right? We uh, we we make we make things happen. We make things happen. So, um, phases of the treats and treats and cookie program. Uh, there's different. We call them kind of the product seasons. So we start with the online stores, as we discussed. Um, in treats and reads, that's in in the in the four regions. That's your first um, blush with the with the sale. It comes a little later in cookies for Saginaw. Um, so online stores will open and then the initial order taking process is what we consider those trifold order cards coupled with the online sales. Um, and then you have the direct sales. So what happens is we get all of those cookies in that your girls, that customers ordered and some extra. And those extra are where you come to our lovely cookie cupboards. They're finally called cookie cupboards. Um, most of them are volunteer led. Um, they could be in your region. Um, they're volunteers just like you that host and store tons and tons of cookies. Um, and you can pick them up, you can check them out, um, and you can sell them. Um, last year, we sold them through a lot of drive through booths. Um, or, and every year previous to that, we sell them in front of a, a Walmart <laughs> um, at a cookie booth stand, which I'm sure you've seen as either a participant in Girl Scouts or as a consumer. Um, and then we have, so then rewards, girls have opportunities to earn rewards through all of those. Um, and then we end rewards, uh, the reward season. So the troop earns the troop profit, the girls earn their rewards. Um, and again, this year it's the koala and the emperor penguin for the product program. 
um, and we start bonus foods. Bonus foods are what we consider um, a phase in the sale where troops can earn extra proceeds um, if if they're really, really trying to earn money for like a big trip or working on a community project that needs funds. Um, so they're allowed to earn a little extra. Um, sometimes like in, in Kalamazoo, for instance, they'll take out uh, nuts and candy at a cookie booth um, and they'll earn extra on the and those nuts and candies while selling them with cookies. It's kind of a fun little fun little thing we do. So that's what we call bonus booths. Uh, so you might be selling during normal booth time and a cookie, but bonus booth time with nuts and candy. And then we have hometown heroes. And towards the end of the sale, when things are kind of wrapping up, we kind of have a big wave of donations where Girl Scouts will help us come and donate their their cookies, all of, all the cookies that, that were sold as donations and all the, the nuts and candy that were sold as nuts and donations. Here is uh, hometown heroes donation. Um, there's a couple terms that is that are synonymous with uh, hometown heroes. Hometown heroes is what our council calls them, but you'll hear it called council gift of caring or troop gift of caring. What does M2 call it, Ash? What's it called in M2, do you remember? It is care to share. It's care to share, yeah. So don't let uh, don't let semantics get in the way and, and definitely during training, pipe up and ask if we've lost you because there's a lot of terms that are the same. They just kind of uh, are different depending on the software. Um, in the, in the specific program. So I just wanted to point that out as well. So then Hometown Heroes starts and that's where we actually sell cookies specifically for Hometown Heroes, allowing the troop um, to still earn funds. And um, typically we have um, for some of our uh, larger events, uh, like the Thousand Club, we can um, prolong the, the date or the deadline for girls to sell a little bit longer towards that event, towards that big event that we offer. So I think and that don't don't forget. Oh, go ahead, Ash. Yeah, no, I think that from that previous slide is one way that we should take away is that no matter when a girl joins Girl Scouts, is that there's always going to be a product program for her to take part of, and there's different multiple ways that she can engage in. Whether it is the direct sales, if it's just the initial order, or perhaps they're an online only family, and that's the decision that the girls' contribution, but. Our, you'll see at our reward order levels that it really has every way that a girl can participate to um, really make it her five skills centered pro product program. So she is going to set those goals. She's going to work with her family. She's going to engage her family in the ways that they can be her best marketing and advertisement as well. So um, I think we have different ways for parents in your troop that can participate and help us as Girl Scout leaders. Uh, handle the product program. It doesn't have to be just you as troop cookie manager, troop product manager, and troop leader, troop uh, financier. There's all these different ways to participate and engage your uh, families. So we've listed seven or six here, and we'd love to for you to post in the chat box other ways that you've engaged your parents um, to help with the Girl Scout product program to make it the best it could be. So I'm going to say we'd, we'd love for you to do that, but I think we're going to pass it on just because we're getting close to, <laughs> close to time. We can, Ashley and I would love to talk about product program all night, to be honest with you, if you can't tell. So um, if, if you wouldn't mind, we're going to just continue on um, so we can afford a little bit of time for questions. So I think this might be our last slide. Am I mistaken? Almost. Almost. Okay. Well, sustain, just keep keep that momentum going. Keep girls, remind them of their goals on a continuous split, uh, basis. Create those, you know, those thermometer goal charts um, and bring them up at each meeting. Go ahead to the next slide. I just want time for a few questions. Oh, goal checker. This is another resource with Little Brownie. Uh, again, use, use that Little Brownie. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about with Little Brownie, feel free to send us an email and we'll, uh, we'll point you in the right direction. This goal tracker is a great way to engage parents with their girls' goals. They, they can help their girls keep the goal tracker going and troops can use the goal tracker on a troop level as well. Yes, littlebrownie.com is live today. Had a fun Zoom background. Oh, see, there's just tons of resources. So much fun. Oh, that's adorable. And that is our new mascot for this year's cookie program. 
not only do we have our digital cookie kickoff December 1st, but we are engaging all of our family and friends of Girl Scouts. Don't even need to be a Girl Scout to come and have fun with us at our fourth uh, installation of our Jubilee celebration. It is going to be November 13th at the Chelsea Fairground. And we are, you know, we want to make sure that you are following us on Facebook, you are reading our newsletters, you're seeing all of our posts for how to register, which will be up shortly. But we want to make sure that you save the date for November 13th at the Chelsea Fairgrounds. It is um, our fourth Jubilee installation. And to those of you who've never been to a Jubilee before, we have them every other year. We had to add one more year because of the pandemic last year. Um, but there will be stations all day long for girls and families, leaders to participate in that are all about both, both of the product programs, about the five skills, safety. We're doing a lot this year with, um, again, helping, helping girls and parents to connect online. Uh, there'll be representatives from both of our um, product partners, from Little Brownie Baker, uh, from M2 and from Ashton Farms and uh, there'll be some samples. There'll be all kinds of fun things to do throughout the day. If you haven't been to one before, it's well worth the time. Uh, it will be from 10 to 4, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, it's guaranteed to be a very, very fun day. So we'll look forward to seeing everyone there. Oh, this, how can I forget? This is the last slide. I'm sorry, we changed this at the end. I love this. So. Listen, we've got, I know we're going to have a lot of questions, but that's going to be my plug for you to come to training. Or you can, of course, email calcc at gshom.org. Ash, can you throw that in the chat box for calcc if you have any questions? But we would tell you to please, please, please come to training and look for those. They'll be published because I just want to take a minute for um, just to say thank you so much for Stacey Jenkins' time and her dedication to this organization. I'm going to hand it over to Karen. Yep, we used this blast from the past, blast from the past last slide with Ashley and Abby and Stacy and myself um, that we used several years ago um, when it really was for a while just the just the four of us. Now we have Jacqueline and Kyla who are helping too for both program and product. But um, we wanted to do that for Stacy. Stacy did help put together and actually did put together this um, slide this program. Um, that we had tonight. If you don't know, Stacy's been working the last couple of years on um, a new passion, which is um, videos and training. And um, she's going to graduate in May with a degree um, with that. And um, she is going to be leaving the product and program departments of Girl Scout Heart of Michigan to pursue her, her new passion. Stacy's been with us more than 10 years now. She started as a product assistant in the Lansing region and um, then became product specialist. And a few years later, when we were in need of really um, some support in the Ann Arbor region, she volunteered to take on the Ann Arbor region as product specialist uh, uh, instead, of, uh, instead of Lansing. And then when we um, decided that we would tackle program and product together, she became a product supervisor uh, as well as program supervisor for both Ann Arbor and Lansing region. She's been a staple around for a long time. She was a volunteer before she came to us. Um, we are going to miss her very, very, very much as a team. I know the Ann Arbor and Lansing regions uh, will also miss her. So I want to thank Stacy, and I want to assure the folks um, from Ann Arbor that we will be posting a product specialist position. We already have a program specialist position posted. We'll be hiring as soon as we can. In the meantime, Abby and Ashley and I will be covering uh, the Ann Arbor, the Ann Arbor region. Um, I've been the stunt Stacy primarily with Abby backing up um, as stunt Stacy for some things, but she took Abby took the lead for uh, inventory and um, cupboards and all kinds of things. So we've been doing that. We will continue um, through training until we get someone hired and trained. Um, so you, you will have support. So please don't think that you won't have that. Um, we will be in touch with you and we'll keep everyone in Ann Arbor posted. But I wanna go back to Stacy again and Stacy Jenkins, we wanna say thank you. We wanna bid you a fond farewell, but she's not going far because she said she will always, always, always uh, be a Girl Scout and still help. So I'll turn it to you for a minute, Stacey. Oh my gosh, I know it's late. So we're all ready to go to the next um, 
uh, probably there's a next video or something else is next. So I just really wanted to take a quick second and tell you all just how much I've appreciated all the things that you've taught me and really helped me to accomplish here in Girl Scout world. And definitely we will stay in touch. There'll be lots of things we'll be able to do together in the future too. All right. And on, that, and on that note, we are a couple minutes away from our end date. If anyone has um, questions, uh, we can take a couple or put them in the chat box. And we will look forward to seeing everyone at Treats and Reads or Cookie Training, respectively.